In this video, I'm going to show you my uh, very quick, easy, very frugal, do-it-yourself Sin Saddle alternative. Now, first of all, Sin Saddles, if you don't know what they are, here's a picture of them. Um, they are available from different suppliers, and as you can see, uh, they are nicely made, but they are not inexpensive. Now, when I want to get a low angle shot, especially outside with a long lens, um, what we'll typically do, of course, is get a low hat and put our fluid hat on top and our camera. But as you can see, our lens is now this far off the ground. Now, if you wanted something a little more dramatic where the lens is closer to the ground and you know, it's just skirting across ground level, and we don't have a lot of operating, there's not a lot of panning and tilting, we'll just get our good old fashioned sandbag, we'll kind of, you know, pound it into shape and take our camera and, you know, wiggle it in position and get our shot. Now this works great and this is what I do almost all the time. Uh, the few times where it won't work is if, say, for example, you're in the middle of winter, like right now, and the sandbags happen to get wet and they stay in the grip truck overnight and they're now rock solid, they're frozen solid. So if you put your camera top of a frozen uh, sandbag, it's just like putting on top of a rock. It's, uh, it's not a very secure or, uh, you know, it's not a steady surface. Now, the other time where I won't be using a sandbag is, uh, say, if we're traveling. Um, I'm definitely not going to fly with a sandbag. And if we go someplace where we don't have grip supports, um, end up using a sweatshirt or a jacket, or sometimes I'll take my shoes off uh, just to put under the camera, just to give it a little more support if I'm grabbing that low angle shot someplace. Now that's where Sin Saddle, of course, uh, is really handy. They come in different sizes. Uh, they're very light. They're a little bulky, but, you know, they do its job. Um, the downside, of course, of the Sin Saddle is, uh, is the price. They are not inexpensive. So what I did, I kind of uh, came up with my own, uh, you know, uh, low-dollar version of a Sin Saddle or sandbag for camera people. So when we don't want to use a sandbag. What I came up with is a dry bag filled with beanbag pellets. Now these dry bags, they're made for uh, canoeing or camping where you basically want to keep your stuff dry. Uh, so they're waterproof. And waterproof it means they won't freeze. And of course, if they get muddy or they get dirty, they get dusty, just rinse them off and just towel them dry and you're good to go again. But one thing I like about these dry bags is that the, the surface is actually, like this one's made out of vinyl, I think. They have them out of rubber. Um, the surface is actually a little sticky. So even if you're on an incline, the, the bag's not going to really want to slide around too much. And the cameras generally feel pretty secure on top of these bags. Now this bag is a 5 liter bag. Over here, I have a 10 liter bag that I just picked up from Amazon, along of course with some beanbag pellets. Now these pellets are styrofoam, and these pellets in this bag, they, they appear to be like silicone based, like little round silicone pebbles. Um, I don't know why I have two different ones, but uh, that's just what I bought you know, a little while ago. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to uh, fill up this 10 liter bag so you have an idea uh, what type of volume this is. So here's the 10 liter dry bag filled with the styrofoam pellets. Now as you can see, it's, you know, it's extremely light um, and the 10 liter is actually a pretty, uh, pretty practical size. Now to use it, just you know, place it on your surface, uh, kind of smush it around a little bit to uh, get in the shape you want. and. Get your camera here and frame up and you're good to go. Now you could actually use less pellets. I could have put a few less pellets in, uh, in this bag so it deforms a little bit and kind of cradles the uh, camera a little bit more. Um, perhaps maybe the 15 liter bag would be a more appropriate size for larger cameras. And they come in various sizes and they, they get quite big actually. But anyway, so here it is. This is my uh, super simple, extremely frugal Sin Saddle alternative just dry bags and beanbag pellets.